my intro yesterday. I didn't know if it was going to be a good trip. It was a great time. This uh, trip, I was focusing on river junctions, um, specifically one that had current coming out of it, one none of the other rivers in the area did, um, and it paid off. So here's the action. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me for, um, it's really windy right now. So what I'm fishing is a river mouth, river junction, um, and big river junction too. River up this way, and then we have the Arkansas River coming this way. That's where the two rivers meet, and there's a rock pile right there. And it was pretty much just goes straight down to 20 feet with some scattered rocks and um, catching a lot of blues, I think four now, um, including one nice one, just right here, casting just kind of where it meets the bottom, where it gets to the deepest point, just at the bottom of the drop. Nice fish. Really, really nice fish. It's gonna be real heavy. I'm gonna get a shot with him real quick. That was a lot of fun. I got my anchor rope, and man, I got lucky he didn't get twisted around it. Um, so, yeah, very lucky, but um, really fun fish. <laughs> I love this. this I, I love this. We're in a good spot tonight. Cool. Way cool. They're hitting. This one's not very big. It's because it's a ooh, big, ugly channel cat. How about it? Wow, that's a nice channel cat. Oh, I hope you guys see that. That's one of the better channel cats I've caught in a while. I've caught a lot of channel cats anytime recently. That's a bad boy. Yeah. Well, it's on here for sure. I'm going to ride it out. I'm not leaving this spot until it's time to go sleep in the truck. Isn't that cool? All the action's coming from these two, so I think I'm going to reposition my anchoring um, to where I can have all five rods hitting the face before dark. I'm going to leave it here for a minute, but before dark, I'm gearing up for a giant. We'll see. Anyways, he's putting weight on. Yeah, he's swimming. We'll take it, bro. No, he still got it. Turn it 
towards me. Totally still there. Oh, what a soft bite. Just swimming towards me, actually, the whole time. Wow, what a soft bite. Still there. He's gonna swim all the way to the boat and not know he's hooked. Of course, it's not hooked yet. I haven't, he hasn't loaded it up. Uh-oh. Got something else going on here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a ginormous fish. He's got one of my lines. Wow, he walked so long with that, and he's going all for my rope. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. And he, oh, he's not done. He's going straight for the rope. Shoot, stay out. Sometimes you got to horse a fish. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, he's really mad. He walked all the way to the boat. And I mean, wow. <laughs> okay, let's net him. Okay. Wow, well, he's wrapped up in my rod over here. Big time. Get in there, bro. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. There we go, okay. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> wow, earlier they were hitting it hard, and that guy a couple of his buddies today really hit it soft. That one just swam all the way out right to me. That was a really interesting bite. Uh, it's been good action today. Uh, really good. I can't believe how softly this one hit. Once he knew he was hooked, it was, it was on. That was a good battle. A really good battle. It's an awesome fish right there. Cool. See ya. Here are the baits in order. Carp, carp, carp head. Crawfish. Carp. Something walking with this one. Wow, hot action. Walking towards me again like the other one. Fish on. Oh, nice one. That one's got some weight. Could be wrapped up again. That's a good one. Can't tell yet. Oh, 
go over here. Do that thing I don't like to do. Oof. Pass it under. Ugh. Yeah, another nice one. Yeah, oh, he's all right. Fish is a fish. I love all of that. Give me some more. There we go. Another angry blue cat. Wow. We doubled up. We're doubled up completely. I think so. I looked up to see that rod bouncing. It's walking with it. Wow. Let me get you out of the net, buddy. I'll be quick. This one's been walking for a while. We're gonna set the hook on it. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. Hard to tell, this one's way, way up there. It doesn't feel happy. Feels mad. This is some great action. This is going to be fish number eight right here. And none of them really dinks in my book. You know? So, this fish is all wrapped up, too. That's what they're doing tonight. They're really just nudging it, really like a flathead would. Actually, exactly like a flathead would. So. Boy, this fish is way out there. He's pulling too. Running crazy. Oh wow, this might be a bigger fish than I think. Ooh, he's just sitting there. This might be a big one. Oh yeah, this is a big fish. Where did this come from? Wow, I didn't think he was this big. He is really digging. Wow. He came towards me. Um, and I didn't think he was really big until he got right under the boat here. <sighs> He's just staying down there. Really staying down there. <sighs> can't I can't do anything with him. That's amazing. It's not exactly pull and drag, but I can't get him up. There he goes. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh. This is a big fish, guys. Real, really big fish. This is... It's only 20 feet deep. Wow. So his ability to stay down is impressive. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a hog. Oh yeah. He's not done either. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. Best of the night. Wow. Oh. 
Okay. I'm going to make an attempt with all this extra tackle in my way from the other rod to land this fish. Wow, he's just walking. I can't believe this big a fish hit it that, that softly. Oh. Whoa, man. I'm getting worn out by this fish. Gotta get him a little closer. Come on, Bubba. Just come on in. Come right on in. Oh, he doesn't want to do it. There we go. Got him. Okay. Whoo, man. Oh. Oh. He's big. Wow. Wow. That was a beast. Here's the first fish of the fight. Uh, first of the double. That's a good five to six pounder right there. Um, wow. That's a nice fish by anybody's measures. I mean, you know, a lot of people go their whole lives without catching fish this big. So this next one. <laughs> Heck yeah, so I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah, that's a nice fish, huh? Wow, what a slob, what a fighter. So much fun. Okay, now I'm gonna put him back. Okay, I'm tired of getting slimed up. Ugh, here we go. It's fish number 10. Okay, here he goes. Okay, guys. Um, it's going to be 35 degrees tonight. Um, but I want to show you guys how I camp out in my car. Uh, I do this a lot in the winter time or when it's cold outside. I'm super comfortable summertime it's too hot I'll sleep in a tent but cold weather this is such a, a great way to get a full night's sleep no hotel none of that crap you know that's just a waste of money um, I sleep really great back here and then in the morning I literally just back the boat down the hill so here it is here's my uh, Nissan Xterra camp setup it's awesome it's uh, you can't see it right now but it's four inch thick um, mattress topper and then I just have a fitted sheet and then uh, sleeping bag underneath sleeping bag on top and a blanket on top um, I'm gonna sleep great tonight and then in the morning I get all my coffee supplies and I might make some eggs or something or just eat my chicken salad, but coffee for sure. And this is miscellaneous stuff. Mm. Oh, good morning. Daylight savings time was last night, so it's very bright outside. Getting warm already. Um, it's gonna be a high of 60 degrees today. Could have some wind, not sure. So I'm gonna do a little more fishing. But first, most importantly, brew some coffee. Uh, Cause I don't do without coffee. So. Good morning, see you on the water. Day two, here's what we're fishing. Once again, decided to come back here because the bite was great yesterday. Um, taper it off into the night, but it's like nine o'clock in the morning. Anyways, we have our river here, a river here, and this big rock pile right at the mouth. 
or it drops off just on the as soon as you see the left side of those rocks that are sticking out it drops off but the rock bar goes all the way from the shore I think it was an old wing dike or something anyways drops right off so we're kind of on this mid-river point of this rock pile at a river junction with a little bit of current coming from the river um, anchored in right now okay the bait that was doing well it's been doing well it's carp as I fillet them chunk up the fillets anyways I don't do a great job filleting them but I get what I need from them all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the steep face of this rock pile with all these baits and then a couple of them more towards open water I was getting bites there last night as well it just seems like uh, there's a lot of activity down here so we're gonna see what's up a little better out to the yonder now not really my favorite but that's okay everybody thanks for watching so much fun a lot of action yesterday doubles big fish I'll take it anytime hit like and subscribe that would really help me out peace